Hey, welcome to Electron Online, and our next video is going to be on how to graph sums of trigon trigonometric functions or trig functions for short. And so I'm going to do a couple examples. The first example is very relatively easy. Our first function, y1, is equal to the sine of x, and the second function, y2, is equal to the cosine of x. Notice in this case, instead of using theta, I used x, and my horizontal axis is x. x can be a proper variable symbol to represent angle in terms of radians. So here you have the number of radians in the angle. And uh, so now we have the first one drawn. So the blue line represents the cosine of x. So the blue line represents the cosine because it starts at 1 when the angle is 0. And the black line represents the sine of x. There we go. And now we're going to sum them up. y1 plus y2 is equal to question mark. What does that look like? So what we can do is we can go to each section uh, or each quarter pi, so to speak, on the angle and see what the sum of the two would be. So in this case, when, uh, pi is equal to, when the angle is equal to 0, when x is equal to 0, notice that the sine of the, of the angle, sine of x, is equal to 0 and the cosine is equal to 1. So when we add up 1 plus 0, we get 1. If we now go to 45 degrees, pi over 4, both the sine and the cosine have the same value at pi over 4. It would be 0.707 or the square root of 2 over 2. So if you add them together, 0.707 plus 0.707 is about 1.4. So I'll draw the dot right there, representing uh, a, a value of about 1.4. So if we add 0 0.7 plus 0 0.7 together, we get 1.4. At pi over 2 at 90 degrees, you can see that the cosine is 0 and the sine is 1. So we're back over to this point right there. At 3 pi over 4, notice that the sine is plus 0.7 and the cosine is minus 0.7. They have the same value, but the cosine is negative and the sine is positive. So that means that when I add these together, I get a zero value. So if this seems a little odd to you, again, you can go to the unit circle. So if you have the unit circle right here, notice that at 3 pi over 4, which is 135 degrees. So that gives you an angle of 3 pi over 4, 3 pi divided by 4. Notice that the y value is equal to the square root of 2 over 2, which is equal to 0 0.707. And the x value is minus the square root of 2 over 2, which is equal to minus 0 0.707. So that's indicated right here at this point where we have the positive value for the sine and the negative value for the cosine. When you add them together, you get zero. Over here at pi, see that the sine is zero and the cosine is negative one, which gives you a value of negative one. And over here at five pi over four, both the cosine and the sine are at 45 degrees, or a uh, better way to say it is that the value of the sine and the cosine is minus square root of two over two, or 0.707, but in a negative direction. So add them both together, and you get a value of about minus 1.4, right there. And then coming back over here to 3 pi over 2, notice that the cosine is 0 and the sine is negative 1. So you add them together, you get negative 1. Over here, the, uh, what we call the cosine is plus 0 0.7, and the sine is minus 0 0.7, so they cancel each other out, you get 0. Over here, you can see that the sine is 0 and the cosine is 1. Over here, they're both 0 0.707, so they both add up to about 1.4. Here we have 1 plus 0, gives you 1. And here they cancel each other out again. And over here it is negative one. So when we connect all the red dots, we get something that looks like this, like that. And so that would be the sum of the cosine and the sine added together. Some of the details may be missing, but at least we have the general form of that summation. And so that would be the sum of those two. And that's how we do that. Now, if you're not sure how to do it like this, what you can also do is put up a table of values. You can put up the angle, x. Then you can go, then you can say, what is the sine of x? What is the cosine of x? And then you simply sum them together, sum. So when x is equal to 0, the sine is 0. The cosine is 1, the sum is 1. When x is equal to pi over 4, that's 45 degrees, right? 45 degrees. The sine of x is the square root of 2 over 2, which is 0 0.7. The cosine of x squared of 2 over 2, which is 0 0.7. Added together, you get 1.4. At 90 degrees, pi over 2, 90 degrees. The sine is equal to 1, the cosine is equal to 0. Added together, you get 1. And so you can do the same thing like that, and you simply will get the overall shape of the 
summation of the two trigonometric functions. And that's how we do that. So that was a simple example. On the next video, I'll do a little bit more complicated example with a different value for k and a different value for the angle. And you'll see that things are a little bit more complicated, but you can follow the very same technique to sum up two trigonometric functions.